Hey, what's up guys? It's Justin here from uh, Cinema 4D Tuts. Um, a lot of you guys asked how to do this stuff from the uh, from the uh, speed art that I did. I know this is uh, this is crazy. Two videos by me in a row. Oh my god. I'll just in my pants too. Yeah, anyways, um, I'm going to be doing a tutorial really quick on how to make these balls. A lot of you guys were like, how do you make them balls? So I was like, uh, I'll do a tutorial if this comment gets some likes. So the comment got like 50 likes, so I was like... Hmm, I'll do it. So, yeah, you guys also said release a material pack. Uh, so I was thinking about doing that too, even though I don't even think I'm good at making materials. So I don't know about that. Um, I right, just make a floor, uh, make a sphere, put it at about there, you know. So it looks like it's on the ground, even though it's really probably a little above it. Anyways, uh, all right, drop this down to... I don't know, 80. I don't really follow any specifications. I think I just did it like pretty freehand. This probably won't look exactly like the one from the uh, video, but yeah, let's just put it to um um 40 segments, 80 radius. Sounds good. And just throw a light in there too. Just bring that bad boy up. Oh, a little bit over here. Oh, bring that bad boy up. Alright, yeah, that's good, whatever. Light's not important. It's just uh, modeling of this thing is the important part, I suppose. So uh, once you have your sphere set at 80 and 40, hit C on your keyboard, which turns it into a polygon, and then click this to uh, make it editable or whatever, so you can select the points, and then go to Selection, uh, Loop Selection, and then you can select it by loops. So that's about the middle I suppose so grab that and then do that so it's across and then just go to smooth shift and once you have that selected and selected mood sh blah, 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 smooth shift drag that in a little bit and wherever you think looks nice looks nice and sexy and then you have the basic uh, shape this is really all it is that's why I was like are you guys serious? You really want a tutorial about this? I mean, I know I've been gone a while, but what has Val been teaching you? <laughs> so, uh, anyways, after you get that, this is when you can start applying the uh, materials. And I think some people were like didn't understand how to make it glow, which is actually really easy. So let's just uh, pick a random color. Uh, all right, doesn't matter. Uh, put the reflection at like twenty. Um, then go to glow and that's really all I did I didn't even change the settings of the glow you can do that though to get more strength oh god damn that was way too much um you can make it more outer strength uh you can mess around with that if you guys want but I think that it looks fine like that so then just put it on there make sure that you only have those selected though or else you'll just change the whole thing and then uh to, s to change the color of the outside you can go to selection and invert and that selects everything that wasn't selected so then you can just do whatever color you want for that I just made like uh, dark or light gray do the same thing except don't put glow on it won't look really good so then you got this this is really all I did guys um let's see how this looks probably won't look as good as the speed art because obviously not taking as much time uh, and you can add a background, drag the floor up here, uh, go tags, compositing, composite background. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, no. Go away, cube. Goddamn. Sorry about that. Yeah, anyway, so let's see how this looks. Um, yeah, so you've got the, uh, the basic thing that I did. Um, of course, you can add better lighting and all that shit, better background and whatnot um once you got that that's really about it guys um someone also asked how you edit the uh the text because i edited the text in the uh the speed art that i did and uh i guess i'll show you guys that really quick too um let's see uh, all right i'm just gonna do i'm just gonna do the same exact thing that i did in the video i'm gonna go ahead and put this at c4d change the depth to 80 and then change the font to what the fuck 
I need a faster computer. Um, change the text to whatever you want. I'm just going to do Zone Rider. I don't know if you guys have that font. I might have given it to you at one point. Um, but yeah, so after that, you really edit it just like you edit anything else. You hit C on the keyboard, which changes it all into like three different segments. So then you can move. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, oh my god. I'm confused. Alright. Um, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> Select that. I was had the wrong thing selected, I suppose. I guess. Whatever. Um, and then you can really just move them around. Um, I'll do the exact same thing that I had done in the video. So then, um, the 4 is really the only thing that I edited, so just select this, go to extrude, bring that up a little bit, and then once it's above the other letters, bring it up one more time, and then I selected these two parts right here, and extruded those, which makes it into C4DT, Cinema 4D Tuts. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I might actually start using this as a logo, depending on if Val likes it or not. So yeah, C4DT. Um, thought that was pretty cool. So that's how you edit the text. That's how you make a ball. So you got balls and text. So yeah, guys. Um, I think that just about does it. I don't. Um, I think I might actually make a material pack if you guys really want one. I'll spend spend a little bit of time and make a make a bunch of materials. Um, I'll do all of that shit and make some pretty cool materials for you guys. I'm not the best at making materials. Honestly, I don't really know that much about it, but I could do a few things for you guys. So, uh yeah, guys, I hope you uh enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you uh hope you uh learned a little bit from it. Um I don't know if I'm the best teacher anymore. Probably got a little bit of st st stutter. Uh so yeah guys, thumbs up the video, like, favorite, comment, follow us on some social networking sites, and uh, check out the video that I did yesterday guys, that's two video in two days, I'm pretty proud of myself, so go ahead and give me a little round of applause, yeah, so uh, I'll see you guys later, peace.